Alright everyone, welcome to the Only Empire. Today I'm going to be talking about Broken Sword. Quite recently I found out that there's going to be a new one called um, Broken Sword 5. Um, yeah, it's going to be called Broken Sword 5 The um, Serpent's Curse. And um, <coughs> so far, well, it's not out yet. It's been confirmed it'll be out next year. But I'll start from the beginning with Broken Souls. Well, with Revolution rather. It, first, it was first attempt troops, and then afterwards it was a it was going called Beneath the Steel Sky, which is a character called Robert Overman, with his little companion called Jerry, who was first of all a robot, then a vacuum cleaner with a new shell and Jerry did a bit of a dialogue quote by saying exterminate like an exterminate exterminate which was obviously off Doctor Who off from the Daleks but back to Broken Souls then there was the first one called Broken Souls Shadow of the Templars that's it starts from beginning from when George Sobart the American tourist was in Paris like enjoying like the sun the ladies in France, and um, it was at a cafe called Cafe de la Chante down there, where a, a blonde waitress gave him like, a cup of um, coffee, or well, a cafe is a French boy I think, and an old man like bumps into the waitress who grinned and nodded, the old, the old man called Plantard went inside the cafe. And when George like, popped a balloon, he saw a clown like, right towards him. The clown walked past George, then the clown went into the cafe and dropped his accordion and took Plantard's roof case and ran out of the door and it turned out to be a bomb. That's when the story began. From like, the murderer, like, the assassin's name who owned the clown's costume was called Khan. He also Hired another costume, which was a, a pixie or a leprechaun rather. But if you watch, if you play the, the director's cut, he's like more than just like the, the clown and the leprechaun. He was also like a mime who killed um, Pierre Carnshot. That was just where you play as Nico, like once in the um, director's cut of Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. As a mime, then um, he killed um, him elder as a cabaret. And for Khan, he uses several names, i.e., Khan, obviously, and uh, Thomas Berlin, the Bruber Electronic Corporation. So that basically begins like the Knights Templar. Then there was Broken Sword so which George came back to Paris like, from America after when his father died. And um, they went to celebrate their reunion, but he came up as another kind of having a woman with an archaeologist called Professor Ubia, which was to do with a Mayan stone, which came across while researching the story. And again, if you, uh, if you play Broken Sword Master, you'll find the uh, comic strip like, from the beginning of Nico, like how he got the, um, the stone and um, how he found like Karzak. So um, when Nico got kidnapped, pa Pablo, the, the uh, big Central American Indian, put a statue of Tezcatlipoca, which is like a curse like, in Central America which was a supreme deity where Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. Obviously the statue, he has the mirror on his left hand, the mind, the, he can see the heart. Like thousands of men, he was the wind, how in the pool the other victims, which is like from men, women, children, animals, anything that can be. The steps of the temple, when raised from the, the human sacrifice. Yeah, so uh, that was starting to become improvement. 
game there was Broken Sword 3, that was the beginning of um, 3D, where um, it's sort of like the Templars, but there was, there's two villains, one called Petro who impersonated Nicole Collard by killing like a geek who was a software consultant called Vernon Leo. And uh, there's a killer who um, George tracked down, his name was Senor Cesaro. Where um, <coughs> when he was in Glastonbury, he um, bumped into uh, an old face who was in the first broken sort of world called um, Oswald. Or should I say Bruno Oswald? And um, Cesaro sort of brought back the Knights Templar, but all about the name. He never liked the Templar trapping. He um, renamed it as the, the Dragon's Cult. So uh, basically, he was the new Grandmaster of the Knights Templar. And then there was Broken Sword 4. Like the storyline was totally different. George was in uh, New York, like Brooklyn. I think he's that's so, uh, if, you, if you're like a Broken Sword fan, then you'll know for information. Obviously, you now he's a cat and royal. And uh, he thinks he's going to be in a normal life with uh, his employee called Virgil. There was a blonde woman called Anna Maria who got chased by the Mafia. She ran into, uh, I don't know what the company is called, it's just been ages since I've been playing. The um, Sleeping Angel, no oh, sorry, Angel of Death rather. And um, it was to do with a manuscript. And, um, that's basically how it started then. Then that's when Nico came to see when Anna Maria like disappeared. And also it's like <coughs> start an unofficial game, it's called um the Fully Flush 2.5, which is a um, Broken Soul 2.5, the return of the Templars, where um he plays George and Nico obviously. The Templars have returned and the two Old faces, Flat and Guido, were um, back as well, which somehow they survived. I guess they were too badly to die, I guess. Um, surprisingly, Khan was still alive, which turned out he had a bulletproof uh, vest in the old lady's coat. But that's obviously not going to happen in official games because Khan was literally dead after an egg and shot him in a broken sword one. Yeah, so um, the one coming next year called Broken Soul Fire of the Serpent's Curse Adventure, that should be really promising. And uh, hopefully it should be successful. But at the moment they're halfway through it. And uh, I'll just give out a message to um, Charles Cecil. Charles Cecil, what you've been doing is fantastic. I'm glad that um, you're like, paying attention to all the fans who are demanding like, for a new game. You're the best man. Well, that's it for now, guys. It's back!